Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, get this video to at least 200 likes. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. Now the fatal blading of Seamies, aka Sea Murder, is considered one of the most barbaric illustrations of crime that's taken place in Camden in recent years. The realisation and the fact that Seamies was a well-known member of OQC, which stood for Original Queen's Crescent, who engaged in a very physical beef with AGB, 71st, made it easy to understand the potential motives of the crime. 22-year-old Calvin Bugginza, who was well known as Seamies to his friends, was ambushed, chased down like prey and then essentially slaughtered in Grafton Road, Kentish Town, North London, on April 1st of 2019. What a cruel fate. Now rumours say that prior to the incident, Seamies had been to a cafe with his cousin, when leaving the calf, he received an ominous call, saying that rivals were spotted in the area and he should be careful. Now apparently, Seamies did not take the warning serious, and still he went about his day carefree, which actually proved costly. It was a costly mistake. Now just before 8.30pm on April 1st of 2019, four masked men, dressed in black from head to toe, had been driving around North London in a VW Borer before they gave chase to Calvin. Now of course these four guys ran out of the car and then started to chase Calvin down along Victor's road. He ran as fast as he could, his adrenaline pushing his legs further but the gang were relentless in their pursuit. He then turned onto Grafton Road. Now please say the gang who were all dressed in black were armed with screwdrivers, a machete and also extended blades. Part of the tragic incident was caught in a dash cam belonging to a taxi driver who actually stopped and attempted to help Seamies. Now from the dash cam Police were able to extract a registration plate and see four men escape back in the same car after the incident. The VW Borer then drove off in the direction of Weedington. Police located the car just a few hours later in Court Gardens, but the car was completely burnt out to the point that it was just scrap metal. Now Carvin's mum heard the news that her son was in a dire situation after being bladed from her daughter. Immediately she ran to the scene and found out that he had been bladed several times. By the time she got to the crime scene, Grafton Road was cordoned off and she had to watch from a distance as emergency services and the trauma team worked on her 22-year-old son. She was not able to be with him in his final moments. She was beside herself as he was pronounced dead at the scene and sadly, no one's been convicted for this incident. Back in 2021, police issued an urgency statement asking people, especially his friends, to come forward and give more information as to what happened. But again, there was also a £10,000 reward. Condolences to Seamus. Stay safe. Safe.